State your name, please. Bro, you know the f I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, but for the purposes of this interview, you're gonna need to say your name to the camera. Fine. God. Um. Uh, Jamie Tierney. Good. Yeah. Well, do you know why I brought you here for this interview? I don't know, bro. I do it. You gonna do what, Jamie? Yo, Nakaman, I thought my name was going to be first. Oh my god. I don't care, okay? Okay, okay. Are you recording? Yeah. How do I look? It's a voiceover. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. When Blair Week began on Monday, October 28th, 2019, everything was running smoothly. The Blair Day video was finished, there were only a few minor pro Farmer Day revolutions to be quelled, and Petty was on track to win the Potter Kelly Cup once and for all. Not just shared custody of the cup, but full year-round, year-after-year ownership of the cup. That is, until the unthinkable happened. When Mr. De Bruyne returned to his post after chapel, he noticed that our trophy had been replaced. Yo, she's freaking out. Yeah, bro. Look, the cup. Oh my god, Helmstetter. <laughs> Yo. Upon contacting Paul Miller, we found that from 1020 to 1045, the security footage that kept watch over Petty's prized possession had been deleted. Naturally, the entire student body was aware of the robbery before conference period had even ended, and everyone had their own speculations as to who could have stolen the Potter Kelly Cup. So, who do you think stole the cup? Bro, I think it was Jamie Tierney. Oh, it has to be him. Wait, why? I don't know. It just seems like something he'd do. I don't know. Um, if I had to guess, Jamie Tierney. So, Tarun, do you think that Jamie stole the cup? Yo, Jamie's my boy, I'm not gonna lie, but he definitely did that shit. Like, the man is so stupid. He got nothing up here at all. Is Jamie the one with the safari hat? Oh yeah, Jamie and his friends are always doing stuff like that. Javier, I need you to look at me, not at the camera. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I just can't help it. <laughs> Anyways, have you seen their YouTube channel with all their pranks? It's all stuff like that. You guys, stop! I'm, I'm so not good on the camera. I'm getting so nervous. Thank you for your time, Kavya. No, thank you for giving me my big break. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kavya. The cup is gone? Yeah, what do you mean the cup is gone? Uh, Blair Day is a Saturday and pep rally? Where'd it go? It was stolen, most likely during chapel today. By who? Yeah, who? You're not gonna like this. Some think it was Jamie Tierney. Bums! <laughs> Good, they're already talking about it. Oh, oh guys, I saw, I saw. Yeah, yeah, guys, guys, oh, yes, yes. So, what do you think are like, what are your theories on like the disappearance of the Potter Kelly Cup? I 100% believe that Jamie Tierney did it. No, it's, no, it's Patrick Satina. Oh, no, 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 no way. It's, it's Sam Lissett. It has to be Sam Lissett. If you had to guess right now, who do you think stole the cup? Tierney. <laughs> Definitely Jamie Tierney. This is bad timing, though. If we don't get that cup back by Saturday, we're going to have some serious trouble with Blair. Well, one thing is certain. Whoever the thief is, is going to have some serious consequences. Yeah, but if you're right, do you really think a kid like Jamie Tierney is going to be phased by just another Saturday night study hall? <laughs> you misunderstand me, young fella. For an offense of this nature, you're looking at expulsion. At this point, I'm sure you're all wondering who this Jamie Tierney kid is and why everyone seems so confident in asserting his guilt. What you need is an introduction. You can't truly understand the psyche of Jamie Tierney without first meeting his goon squad. Yeah. 
guys, I'm James from Wayback Boys. I'm coming at you with another fire video. Robin, Mr. McClellan. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, bro, I'm Corey, bro. And this is why my mom disowned me. <laughs> I'm your big rich low. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm Mayo. This is my stepbrother. Yo, I'm Ishrit, and I just like the. <laughs> <laughs> and my name's Sabitza. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it! That's what I'm doing, so. Jamie, in a nutshell, is an avant garde director. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jamie here. I'm currently in the bathroom at the Petty School. I'm washing my hands and stuff. Today, we're back with another fire video on the Wayback Boys YouTube channel. I know how it is. Oh man, today we're gonna be with people in the library, dude. Let's get to it. <laughs> god, dude, dude, allergies are terrible this year, aren't they, dude? Oh my god. Yo, Kyle, Kyle, what's up? Okay, dude. <laughs> Yo, dude, you just told me to shut the f up, dude. This is insane. <laughs> the general consensus on campus was that these two masterpieces alone were damning enough as evidence. But, we found a piece that didn't quite fit the puzzle. Jamie? James Tierney. Nah, I don't think so, dog. That kid couldn't open a door if the doorknob screamed, open me. There's no possible way you could've stolen the cup. I hope they don't cast him with me in the play video, though. Wait, so what are you guys filming this for again? Zyron's testimony raised a few eyebrows. How could this kid have taken the footage off the security tapes if he couldn't even keep himself off the warning list. We needed to look into all potential suspects. The cup was stolen during chapel, so only someone who skipped chapel that Monday could have done it. There was only one place to find the list of those people. No, I can't get that, I'm sorry. Why would you want that? I mean, just, cause like, so basically, people stole part of the cup today, during chapel. Mm -hmm. And there's only five days until Blair Day. So we kind of need that list. All right, here it is. Go get that cup. What an interesting group. Yeah. Which one's your best guess? I don't know. We're, we're definitely gonna have to do some interrogation first. Right. And if we can't get a confession, we're gonna need alibis and motives. Where should we even start? I know just the guy. Hey, Ty. Where were you on October 28th, 2819 at 1020 AM? Isn't that today? Well, yeah, but where were you at chapel today? What time is it? I'm this chapel again? Alright, well, well, he's out. <laughs> no, 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 come back, come back. I was there, I swear. Rev J was like, go in peace to love and serve. Wait, wait, so no one's, what? So you haven't, you haven't been there for, oh my god, Ty. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, alright. I'm going back to sleep, man. Yeah, you have a good sleep, man. I'll see you later. Since he was on the Dean's list, we had to interrogate Ty as a suspect. But come on now, it's Ty. Short the entire stock market. Wait, wait, one, one minute. Yo, yo, what is this? Yo, I just gotta ask you a couple questions, man. Who are you? You know who I am. I'm Nate Ackerman. I'm in your dorm. Uh, what do you want? So, like, where were you, like, at 10.20 a.m. on October 28, 2019? I was meeting with the hedge fund manager. That's during chapel, right? Yeah, yeah I'm not time for chapel. Skip I was meeting chapel. with the hedge fund manager. Wow. Skip chapel for that? I mean, like, do you have any evidence that meeting? We need evidence. Yeah, I think so. Give me one second. All right. Right here. What is this? This is what happened in your room? What? 
three three hundred thousand dollars. This man, bro, what is this, bro? What you got a problem? Nah, we got what we need. All right, man. Although Keyshawn's entrepreneurial tendencies to do things for personal profit might have hinted at a motive for stealing the cup, he did give us an alibi. It was backed up with proof that it had been signed and dated by Ray Dalio, the hedge fund manager at Bridgewater Associates. We were down to two suspects. But before we even got to approach Niaja, she came to us with information. Can you describe exactly what you saw? Well, I was headed out to first period and I saw Jamie Tierney. He was walking out with a dining hall cup and I was like, that's such a shitty thing to do. Well, did you see where he was headed? Um, Annenberg. Well, alright, thank you, Nyasha. And we can confirm that by looking at the dorm security footage from Trask and actually we can just look at every unit. Wait, wait, why would you do that? I already told you what I saw. Why don't you want us looking at dorm security footage, Nyasha? Well, I, uh. Well, I guess you should be glad we're not making a documentary on visitation violations. <laughs> right. When Naja didn't want us looking at the footage, at first I thought, oh, she definitely took the cup. That would give her a motive to give a false witness testimony for Jamie. But now we're no closer. Yeah, but I am very interested in that this footage that those dorm security cameras pick up. Dude, that's so gross. No, I'm talking about Trask, not Kay. Like, look, look at what Jamie's holding his hand. <gasps> she was right. How would you react if I told you that all of our other suspects have solid alibis? I don't know, dude. It has nothing to do with me, bro. If everyone else has indisputable evidence that suggests they warned that the scene of the crime going to happen, that's not good news for you, man. All right. And the fact that you took a cup from the dining hall. Dude, I f***ing told you! For the 74th time! I took a cup from the dining hall for exclusive Wayback Boys material! God! Yeah? Yes! It's hard to believe after you've seen this. You recognize this man? Dude, that, that, that could be anyone, dude. But honestly. Yeah, Jamie? Anyone? Okay, okay, fine, fine. You f***ing got me, dude. I took a cup from the dining hall. But again, bro, it was for exclusive Wayback Boys material. I even have a video of it. You want to see that? What? You... You're telling me that you have a video that could completely exonerate you from this whole situation, Jamie, and you didn't show us already? What are you thinking? <laughs> what? Yeah, you're, you're funny, dude, bro. You think I can show you exclusive Wayback Boys material for free? Dude, I'd rather take the Saturday night. Like, honestly, though. Saturday night detention? Jamie, you do understand that Mr. Quinn is in his office right now considering you for expulsion from the school. This oh. isn't some joke, no laughing matter. Oh, shit. I guess we don't have a choice now. You know, Jamie, you have some nerve coming in here. You know, Mr. Quinn, I've been thinking about this. Like the past few days, it's been like really bugging me. Um, I was just thinking like, maybe you should consider just holding my trifling <laughs> little twit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just sit down. Let's just everyone be calm for a second, all right? I have video evidence right here that completely exonerates Jimmy Terry. He couldn't have possibly been in the library at the time that the cops were switched out yeah. because he was, because he was in his room filming this video. I'm gonna show him. Did you not show him? Yeah. Maybe. It'll be okay. Maybe. You, you really don't have to. Don't show worry about it. Dude, I'll fine. honestly take care. the expulsion. He won't. Nate. <laughs> Come on, he won't care. It's fine. I'll show Nate. him right now. I don't know about this. Right now. Okay.
we all have our hobbies, you know, it's like our own interests and stuff. That. I'm off the hook, right? Mrs. McDade, have Mr. McClellan schedule the disciplinary committee. What it do, DK? What it do, DK? Come on. Ooh! Yeah, oh my. Yeah, I mean, I guess I am lucky I got off with probation, but I mean, it's over now, so what are you going to do? Nate, what's wrong? Jamie's free. Is anyone on probation really free? True. And aside from that, we don't even know who really took the cup. When we started this whole thing, the, like our goal was to uncover the truth and share with the whole world. It was going to be the expose of the century. Eh, I'm pretty sure that can't stop the leak of the Pentagon Papers in 1971. Since when did you become Mr. Trees? I never took a push. Whatever. Anyway, I can't shake the feeling that we're on the verge of discovering the culprit. All we really need is a push in the right direction. Documentary Squad! How are we doing today? What the fuck? I'm not in the mood. It's your hands. He's in a bad mood for no reason. Help me. God, Yek is thriving. Keyshawn and I actually met with the hedge fund manager on Monday. Ray Dalio said Keyshawn gave him a night he'd never forget. Wait a second, say that last word again. Keyshawn said Ray Dalio gave him a night he'd never forget. So you and Keyshawn met with him in the evening? Hey. And not during chapel? Bro, why are you pressing me for all these details? Momo? What? What's the big deal if he met with him during chapel and not... Oh. Where's he going? Hey, bro, you never heard of knocking? Yeah, Keyshawn, you lied to us. Nah. Hey, bro, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. I'm just confused, Keyshawn. Why would you steal something so priceless from our community? Like, where's your sense of honor? You mean my sense of dollars? Chris Fortunato was about to give me a solid amount of money for that old piece of scrap metal. Chris Fortunato? So you were collaborating with the Blair Headmaster? Yeah, and I would've gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling Kiss. I have a meeting with him this afternoon. Looks like you have a meeting with him this afternoon. Keyshawn. As your dorm supervisor, I'm really disappointed. Come with me. So, I guess it's all over now. Yeah. I mean, he sounds behind bars. And the cops back in the library. I guess everything really is back to normal now. I'm not sure about that. I mean, most of the librarians have been fired from negligence. Naisha's just been pretty quiet ever since we revealed where she's been sneaking off to. And Jamie, ever since that video got out, no one's been able to look at him the same way. I guess the truth hurts, Nate. And after all that, all we did was swap one cup for another. I guess you're right. A cup is a cup. And it serves the same purpose, whether it's made of platinum or made of plastic. But what's really important about a cup is what's inside. Some cups, they hold water. And some cups hold apple juice. And some even hold frosted flakes. But there are some things that a dining hall cup just can't hold. Things like passion and things like camaraderie, and faith, and trust, and love. I guess there's only one cup on campus which can hold all of those things. It's a good thing that we got it back. Yeah, but 
you've only fought half the battle. The rest is up to the Petty Falcons to get that cup and keep it. You remind me of the springtime weather. It's almost natural the way that life brought us together. I get lost in your eyes, feel like I'm staring forever. I know your ex did you wrong, I know I can do better. See, you caught my eye, I wish I knew why. You want a perfect guy, I think I'm worth the try. I know you've been hurt before, I'll make it work this time. Baby, we spread our wings and we can surf the sky. You keep me grounded. Forest full of worms like the trees that surround us. But if it starts to burn, we can leave it where we found it. Tell me what it's worth if you proceed to go to town. We love bound, baby, I know I'm a clown. But at the same time, I'll give you the word. All I want is a text back and let me play. Buy you love and get you diamonds and pearls And I think you already know I'm trying to make you my girl for real Hard to describe my love, my love Give me a chance, I'm not about to pass it up I treat you right and if you know me